This was me, sitting at about 260 pounds. When I was fat, I might have seemed happy, but those were the worst days of my life. I got injured playing football my senior year in high school, and I put on weight quick. I definitely lost myself, and I didn't even realize. I started to work out, and that was the best thing I could have done for myself and everyone around me. I lost 73 pounds within a year just following these few steps that I'm about to share with you. I created an ebook about my entire experience during this weight loss journey. I'll leave it down in the description. Now watch the entire video now because this is the blueprint of how to become the better version of yourself. So if you're looking to get back in shape or you're just starting to work out, here are the steps that you need to take to get back in shape or to help reach your goal. Step one, you have to prioritize your health and fitness with your partner. Get rid of your girlfriend. I'm just kidding. If you're in a relationship, you're going to want to make sure you both are on the same path when it comes to your fitness journey because it'll be a lot easier to stay on track and achieve your goals if both of you guys are living a healthy lifestyle and prioritizing your health. Prioritizing your health is simple. You just got to look in the mirror and say, look, I want to be better. I want to be healthier. Look at the steps in order to do that which will be in this video and then just follow it step two create realistic goals the easiest way to fall short of your goals is to have goals that are completely unrealistic for example if you're just starting your fitness journey and you want to lose 20 pounds in one week most likely you'll fail because 20 pounds in one week is unrealistic a realistic goal is aiming to lose two to five pounds a week now once you can achieve that it'll give you a confidence boost to keep going remember losing weight or gaining weight is a marathon not a sprint it's going to take time great things take time so make sure you have an understanding about that as you go into your fitness journey continue to take those small wins because they add up to bigger wins which will help you achieve your goal step three create a workout and eating structure when you're going through a fitness journey creating a workout plan and eating plan is crucial but this also needs to be realistic with your life for example if you are a morning person you like waking up in the morning you should work out in the morning if you are a night owl and you like to be up late at night you should work out at night that way if you can do this it'll be easier for you to get yourself in the gym you know you'll find less excuses as for eating it's very simple if you're looking to gain weight you eat more if you're looking to lose weight you eat less when it comes to a weight loss journey or a weight gain journey I always recommend tracking your calories because you should always know how many calories you're consuming you should always know if you're eating less than you should or more than you need to be I'll give you a small example of how your weight loss or weight gain should look like calorie wise if you're trying to either gain weight or lose weight. So we're going to use an easy number just for easy math purposes. So let's say you are on a caloric deficit, calorie deficit, and you want to eat 2000 calories. You don't want to eat nothing more, but you want to eat three times a day. That way you can space out your meals and avoid getting hungry. You would take that 2000 calories and you would divide it by how many times you want to eat in a day, which is three. Each meal would have to be around 665 calories for you to reach your calorie goal for the day. Now for weight gain, it's a little bit more drastic. There's 3,500 calories in one pound, which means you have to eat more than 3,500 calories. So easy number, we're going to use 4,000 calories. So if you take 4,000 calories and you divide that by three, three meals, three times a day, you'll be looking around 1,300 calories for each meal. Step four, no cheating for a month. When you first start working out, I feel like it's the most crucial part of your weight loss journey because how you start sets the tone for the rest of your journey. Now, I recommend no cheating for a month because if you could work out consistently and also eat consistently for two to three weeks, it then becomes a habit. Anything longer than that will now have become a lifestyle and then the results will come in. Now, if you can remain very strict with your eating habits, that is even better, but if you have a sweet tooth like me and you feel like you need that balance in your life or you wanna eat some sweets, I would make it a meal not an entire day. It's much easier to recover from a bad meal than an entire day of cheating, I promise you. Life's all about balance, so if you can't leave the sweets alone entirely, just have them in moderation. Extremely light moderation. That will prevent you from overeating in the future when you do come across some sweets. Step five, you're gonna love me for this one. Cut out partying and drinking. So something I just found out recently, when you are drinking, your body stops burning fat. So if you're looking to lose weight and you're drinking, you're gonna put yourself back a couple steps. If you're someone that likes to party and likes to go out and you're on your fitness journey and if you're trying to lose weight, there's not one benefit you're gonna get from drinking and partying that would aid you in your fitness journey. Drinking is one of the easiest ways to gain that unwanted beer belly that most men have nowadays. If you can take those weekends where you go out and party and just go to the gym instead, 
minute. You'll be amazed on how much your body could change within months. People see my videos, they can't believe that I can make that type of change within that time frame. But it's simple, I don't party. I don't like to drink. Instead, I would take myself to the gym, which helps me reach my goals faster. Step number six, prioritize drinking water. Sugary and high calorie drinks are what I like to call wasted calories. I kind of made that up. Basically what I mean is after you have, let's say a sugary drink or a high calorie drink, you don't feel full. You're still gonna wanna eat after that. So you just doubled your calorie intake for that one meal. And it's crazy because most people don't even know that. Like they know that the drink has calories, but it's not even occurring to them that, hey, I'm eating this meal that has a thousand calories. And then on top of that, I'm drinking this soda that has 200 calories in it. Not to mention all the unhealthy ingredients in that soda. Now you have a couple of those drinks in a day, you can easily add more weight to that scale in the morning. Water and low calorie drinks will be a game changer for your weight loss journey. I hope these steps were helpful. Make sure you guys shop one more. We just had a drop on the 9th of September. I'll leave a discount code for you guys down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe. And if you have any questions, you could hit me in the comment section down below. I answer and respond to every single comment. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Next year, next year. Did I mean, you already, like, announce it or what? not yet, but like, oh, it, it's a deadline. The only reason why I do it though on yeah, 99 is it. for my dad's. That's the day he died. You know, so I'm like, I feel like it's a way I could like honor him. Yeah. So that's why I kind of do it. Give me one more. Got a bad, give me one more. Got a clean rep, give me one more. Got a Prezi Jet Mount Rushmore, one more set, need one more. Got a bad, give me one more. Got a clean rep, give me one more. Got a Prezi Jet Mount Rushmore, one more set, need one more. Yeah.